Oh yeah. What you wear to sleep says about you. No clothes. You're most of the people watching this video. A t-shirt. It's either a shirt you love with all your heart, or literally your least favorite shirt. There's no in between. Sweatpants. You sweat while you sleep, whether it's from a nightmare or just because you get too hot at night. Onesie. You're like a baby in an adult or teen body. Anything cozy. A comfy bed isn't enough. You need a comfy fit to go with it. Your day clothes. You came home and passed out. No time to switch clothes. Pajamas. You're very by the book. Pajamas for sleep, business fit for work, casual fit for fun. Cosplay. You're up all night reading fan fictions and watching cursed YouTube videos. Swimsuit. You didn't want to be naked, but you also couldn't find any pajamas. Oversized clothes. You ordered a shirt that was too big and still want to make use of it. Your favorite shirt. You probably wear it all day, too. When's the last time you washed it? Underwear. Let's just hope there isn't a fire in your house and you have to run out calling 911 in your undies. Shorts. You don't even bother tying them. Loose is how you like it. Tomorrow's clothes. You're always the friend in the group who is too prepared. You know, most people just change in the morning. Tank top. Your tank top is either ultra high quality or it's a beat up ripped and stained one. Hoodie. You pull the hood over yourself, play some music, and disappear into another dimension. Something uncomfortable. You will do whatever it takes to make it so you don't stay in bed for too long. A blanket. At night, your blanket is the love of your life. Not supposed to be sus, guys. Two blankets. Your worst nightmare is being cold. Three blankets. Okay, are you trying to burn to death? No blanket. Your worst nightmare is being hot. A nightcap. You're Winnie the Pooh, Drake, or Scrooge. Random clothes. You don't even think about what you wear to sleep. All that matters is that you sleep. Workout clothes. You push your limits when you work out, then pass out in bed once it's finished. A suit. You want to be Sigma even in your sleep. No shirt. You're every guy. No pants. You're every girl. Work uniform. You have work early in the morning. I'm sorry for you. I really am. Cats. You didn't ask the cats to cover you, but they decided what they decided. Flannel. You live in a cabin deep in the woods. Or at least you're dreaming that you are. Sleeping bag. You're camping or you're Mr. Aizawa. Socks. You are pretty normal. Shoes. Okay, you are not normal. No socks. Taking them off is the last thing you do before you go to bed, only to use them again in the morning. Your husband's clothes. You steal his shirts without his permission on a regular basis. Your wife's clothes. Um, what? A dress. You think of yourself as a sleeping beauty. Sorry, but no prince is coming for you. Band tees. Your room is probably covered in posters, and there's at least a 60% chance you have a piercing. Anime tees. You love anime, but won't ever let the world know. Wearing a weeb tee and watching anime all night is your secret lifestyle. YouTuber merch. It's become a ritual for you to watch your favorite YouTubers before going to bed. Your grandma's clothes. She gave them to you even though you never asked, but besides the fact it's super outdated, you think you're kinda cute in them. Your siblings clothes. You either have sisters who have drama about who borrows what clothes, or you have brothers who couldn't care less. Your parents clothes. You really gotta do some laundry. Anything warm. Sometimes you think to yourself, recipes to all the homeless people out there, at least I'm nice and warm. A robe. You're a fancy pants who's rich, or you just took a shower and dry overnight. Jeans. You want to torture yourself. I know it's stupid, but I've done it before too. A furry suit. You need therapy, not just because it's weird, but because you're gonna burn up in that suit. What's wrong with you? A body pillow beside you. You're either a side sleeper, a pregnant woman, or a weeb who needs therapy just like the furries. What's wrong with you? Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below what you wear to sleep. And of course, everything I said is a joke, so I'm sorry if I said anything that hurt your feelings. I'm just messing around, and I've slept in a lot of these different things, actually. Maybe not a furry suit, but you get the picture. As always, my name's Evie Perry, and I'll see you in the next video.